Okay, today's lessons on chapter two. We've now finished chapter one. We finished the last quiz up yesterday. And now we're beginning chapter two, lesson one. Now, this one is going to be, I don't have the, the key learning for this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna learn to write numbers in the basic 10 blocks. You're gonna use um, lines and tables and stuff to learn how to write numbers. So let's start with the first one. I wanna show 1,402 using the base 10 blocks. So from last year, I'm gonna ask a question first. Which one of these do you think is the 100 one? Tyra. The big square the very This here? Yeah. Do you think no, it's a no. hundred? No. This one? Yeah. 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 This one shows 100. What does this one here show? Kobe. 10. 10. This is one obvious. What's the big one, Thomas? 1,000. 1,000. So if I want to show 1,342, what I have to do is I have to start bringing some things around me. Now these are all drag and drops, so come on up here, Raven. We'll get you to see if you can create 1,342 using the base 10 blocks. You just get the marker on, drag it over. Drag it. Come on, move, drag, drag, drag. Drag. There it is. Pretend it's a drag race. There's 1,000. It's 90. To do the rest. What else do you need? Okay, we have 1,100. There's 1,200. There's 1,300. So now we need... There's 1,310. 1,320, 1,330, 1,340, 1,341, 1,342. Perfect. Excellent job. Okay? So how do we do this? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You drag it blocks over. This one here, this shows 1,000. There's 100, 200, 300. This is 10, 20, 30, 40. So all you have to do is go to each one of the numbers and actually just pull out the pieces that you need. So this is 200, so two, this is 40, this is 300, and that's 1,000. Tristan, which question? But what if there was an uneven number and you had to make it a, what if you had to make that number a one? How long would it take? I don't know what your example means. But what do you mean an uneven number? Like, what if you had to make 1,111 with uh, one block, how long would it take? Well, if you did one per second, it would take you 1,111 seconds. Okay, there we go. How many minutes is that? I don't know. You can divide it by 60 when you get a chance. All right, I think everybody knows how to do the base 10 blocks. Now, drawing the base 10 blocks is hard. But, you can draw squares, sticks, and little dots, and the cube part. So what I'm going to do is we're in the lesson coming up, the assignment coming up, you're going to have to draw these. Now I don't need to draw base 10 blocks, because that's really hard to draw, isn't it? You think you could draw these? No. No. Right. It just take forever, wouldn't it? So what we do is we have some shortcuts that you're allowed to use. This one here, this is a thousand. This one here. That's 100. This one here is 10. And this one's 1. See how it works? Yeah. So now, just like we did like a minute ago, um, if you want to have 1,000, there's 1,000. Th there's 1,000. I need 300. So 1, 2, 300. Okay. Now we need 40. So that's 4 of these. And 2 of these. Okay. Now, is that easier to draw than all those boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, isn't it? And you have to learn how to do this because we're going to be using this stuff, sticks, base 10 blocks, in our addition and subtraction units. So we have to get good at using them. All right, let's go on to the next one. This one's called the place value chart. Now, what you have with this one is you've got to put the, chart, the number in the chart correctly. Tristan, why don't you want to do that? Please? Use any color you want.
All right. How many of you disagree with him? Nobody. Good. If you go back up, it's really easy, isn't it? 1,000. Well, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? 342. All right. On questions like this, it's more work to make the table than to do the work. So I'm going to give you a hint. If I gave you another one to do, like for example, this was question 1A, and you had to do question B was another number, take the chart and do this. Isn't that faster than drawing a new one? Yeah. All right. So the next number was uh, 4,064. You would go 4,064. This is zero here. So you don't have to worry about drawing a paste ten, or sorry, number chart for every single one. Okay? Now, the next way we're going to, one we're going to do is what's called expanded form. Now, expanded form is when you blow the number up. Right? And you're going to separate the thousands from the hundreds, from the tens, and from the ones. All right? So when I take this number, 1342, I'll take the 1, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take the 3, I'm going to put it there. The 4, I'm going to put it there. And the 2, I'm going to put it there. All right? Now, what does this number here represent in our number? 1,000. 1,000. See that? What does this one represent? 300. There you go. What's the four? 40. 40. Two. You see how it's done? Equal. Uh-huh. All right. Now, let's have you try another one. I'm going to show you the white screen. All right. Let's do uh, eight, two, one, seven. All right. Up you go. I want you to put that in expanded form. You just did it. So you should have no trouble remembering. So, that's you can write it any way you want. But you can't put your wrist on there. What are you doing? Were you paying attention, Ken? Not really, no. I think maybe you should sit down and maybe you can watch somebody else who was paying attention. Alright. So, Lexi, how do you usually pay attention? So, Lexi, how do you write this in expanded form? Of you agree with it? How many of you disagree with it? Oh, looks like you must have done it right. Well, how many of you know of a different way of doing it that's still correct? Okay, no one. A different way, which is don't raise any, just add to the box. Yep, yeah. all right, so what is another way of doing this which is still correct? Uh, you can do exactly what you need. Get Mr. Sure, sure one. Okay. 
You want to explain to everybody what you did, and why it's different, and why it's okay. Because Carol represents nothing, so you don't need to add the zero, because there's no hundreds there. So that's why we can do it. 400 and 4,000 plus 70 plus 7. You are, you're, you're a professor. Good, good. What's that? Yeah, it was excellent, wasn't it? There's no zero. There are no hundreds there, so you don't have to write it down. All right, I'm going to back up a couple seconds. I want someone to come up and put, do this one. So I have to get rid of the one I did. And get rid of that. And we're not going to do this number here. All right. I want you to do. This number here, 2,000, 2,406, who has not been, okay, Chase, come on. Okay. Just driving, just driving. There you go. Oh, you missed it. Okay. Missed it. There you go. Yay! There's how much is that? One thousand. Alright, then two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand one hundred. Two thousand two hundred. Two thousand three hundred. Two thousand four hundred. Two thousand now. Oops. You can't, you can't put it back once you get it. That's okay. We'll just go down here and fit the leaves. All right, what's next? 2,000. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. There you go. 2,001. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. 2,400. Yeah. All right, excellent job, Chase. So you have 2,000, that's 2,000 bucks, plus 400, plus 6. All right, we're going to move on now to our next concept. Are you ready to get, we'll get away from the front room real quick? I know he's trying to make things perfect. Okay, so we've done some of that. Here's our next thing. We want to write this in words. Now, I want to caution you, spelling only counts in a way that if I can't understand what you've written, then I can't read it, can I? So if you misspell thousand, I don't really mind. It's okay. Uh, you should learn it over time. You should learn how to spell a thousand, how to spell ten, and how to spell eight. But I want you to keep trying. Okay? So, who has not been up yet? Who has not been up? Who has not been up? Tyra, then. You're up. Have you been up yet? Okay, so we'll get you up in a minute. I want to do this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can try. There we go. So. One, two, Put your bed down where I can do a couple of things. You've done everything almost perfectly. All right? 1,000, 
3,342. That's how you read this, right? Yeah. You don't go 1,342 ones. So you don't need to put the ones down here, okay? But there's one thing else that you forgot. Can anybody tell me what she forgot to do here, Kristen? Capitalize. Nope. Read what she wrote. 1,342. What's that? Yeah, what should that be? 40. 40, right. This right here should be 40. Right? 1,342. See how it works? All right, let's get Tiana up here. What do you do one? I want you, Tiana, to do... Well done. Very well done. Now, there's one thing about this channel. I need you to forget this word. Okay? When we mark we count numbers, we don't put the ends in. It's not six thousand and three hundred and ninety-six and this and that. Okay? I know. So what you do is you go six thousand three hundred and ninety-six. Okay? That is number right here is is what? That's three hundred and ninety-six, right? So you put the 6,000 in, and you tell me what this number is. 3, 9, 6, 3, 9, 6. All right, let's go on to our next one. Uh, standard form. Oh, this is interesting. What do you think standard form is? Why do you think there's a mistake here? Let's do that way. What? Um, there's no mistake, and all standard form is is a double. The standard form for one is a line. So standard form, you say, for one is equal to that. Yep. So where's my mistake? What is one, three, four, two in standard form? Um, 1,342. See the mistake? Yeah. I put the answer in the question. I should have had expanded form there and made you shrink it okay so i need to take and do one where we have to shrink it so i'm going to take and grab my magic pen i'm going to go 2000 
plus 600 plus 40 plus 9. And who hasn't been up to get cold you said you here? What is that number in standard form? I'm just kind of curious. Let me finish this question here. Alright. Uh, just just, just take and do this for a second. Okay. What is this number in standard form? You need coffee without you? Okay, try it again, continue. Alright, my pole is never going to forget this, is it? Alright, now, the last one, how do you get from the starting number to the target number. And this one is going to be kind of unique because you have to take a look at the place values. So for example, 247 and 257, what has changed? Chase. The middle number. And what is that middle number? 100. No. 10. 10. This is a 10. So how do I get from here to there? Add 10. Add 10. There's your answer. So how you get from the starting number to this one here, you add 10. Now you may have to subtract. Let's see what the next one is. What is 256 to 556? Tristan? You have to add 300. You add 300, exactly. And the last one, 4,156 all the way down to 3,156. Thomas? You gotta subtract 1,000. Perfect. You guys got really quick at this one, didn't you? Yes. Subtract 1,000. Alright, let's see what's next. Okay, and No! Alright, second and third princess. 